didn't join up to be an executioner. But a Roman officer in Jerusalem, it's what you do. It was Rome's way of controlling the locals. The first time I felt pretty uncomfortable. It's one thing to kill a man in battle, a man who's trying to kill you. It's another thing to kill a man who's completely in your hands. It's surprising how you get used to it though. Crucifixion is a slow process, and we had to stay to the end to discourage rescue attempts. Soldiers pass the time in different ways. Playing games, mocking victims, or gambling for their usually meagre possessions. Me? I studied victims. I had categories for them. Screamers. Sobbers. Pleaders. Curses. A few were staunch, grim-faced and tight-lipped. Of course, they all went silent in the end. That never changed. I couldn't give a label to the King of the Jews. He wasn't really the King of the Jews. The boss called him that to annoy the Jewish hierarchy, payback for them forcing his hand over the execution. The King of the Jews looked like he was in control. In agony, for sure, and struggling to speak but never defeated. And I don't know another word for it. Loving? Loving his mother, his friends, even us. Though I haven't got a clue as to why. All while hanging up off the ground, nailed to two bits of wood. Only once did he seem to lose it. I don't know what he cried. Aramaic's not my language. But I did recognise their word for father. There was nobody at the cross that looked like his father, so I guess he must have been crying out to someone inside his head. Then it got disturbing. It was midday, but the sky went dark, and at the moment the King of the Jews died, there was an earthquake. It was kind of like the cosmos was upset. It was all a bit much for me, I'm, I'm not particularly religious, but I got the feeling that more was going on than we could see from the execution site. Like another dimension was involved, like the King of the Jews had died on earth, but his death had been felt somewhere else as well. There was a phrase from his so-called trial that made no sense to me at the time. By our law he ought to die because he called himself the Son of God. Suddenly it did make sense. This man truly was the Son of God. 